SMT Nation, we back. Nation, I've got two big pieces of news out of T-Mobile. I've got them here for you in the commentary in this video. I'll be sure to link both articles in the description for you. Let's go ahead and get right into this. But quickly, just to let you guys know, we got the real SMT Buy Me A Coffee link. If you want to support your creators directly, that's one way you could do it. Link in the description. And don't forget, if you're looking for a really good deal on wireless service, looking for value, great customer care, you can get it from our wireless partner, Mint Mobile. Use the link in the description, unlock those savings, and you'll be helping out the channel. They just increased all the data allotments on all their plans, and they didn't even touch the price. Value improves, still going to do GOAT things for you with customer care. All right, it's a, a great brand and a, and a great carrier that we support and stand with. Uh, so check them out, Mint Mobile, partner link in the description. First piece of news out of T-Mobile is they've got a new deal with Astound Mobile. I didn't even know Astound was doing mobile. But uh, they got an MVNO deal now, and T-Mobile's going to be giving them the network access. All right, so Astound Broadband just announced that, uh, you know, they'll, besides being broadband cable operator, they're going to also offer mobile network service as well as an MVNO in the agreement with T-Mobile. Uh, we don't know any specific details or pricing or anything like that, but if you are in an Astound market, this will likely be coming to you as an available service in the near future. Uh, the service itself, I think, is going to reach about 4 million homes within Astound Service territory, uh, mentioning parts of northeastern, midwestern, and southwestern and western states, Washington, D.C., Maryland, stuff like that. Uh, Astound says that they are the sixth largest cable provider. Take that for what it's worth. So they seem like a decent-sized player. Uh, part of this is a software-as-a-service platform with reach, uh, the CEO, Harjo Saluha, was quoted in a press conference or press release about the Astound mobile plans. Leveraging the Reach's innovative platform, Astound is launching a full-featured mobile service with Back Office Portal, a white-labeled end-user experience for Astound customers, and access to a full portfolio of broadband connectivity solutions in addition to mobile. Okay, so this is pretty interesting. And now, you know, with, with what seems to be mobile service with home broadband convergence now we've got another brand getting involved uh i don't i don't know what this is going to mean for the customers right is it going to be more like what charter does with spectrum and what comcast does with xfinity you know does this mean we're going to be seeing like hotspot access and wi-fi hotspot access you know i don't think they're doing any type of their own infrastructure like with small cells and cbrs i don't think they have any type of licenses but uh, this is a deal for T-Mobile. And of course, if Astound finds success, that means T-Mobile finds success. Something tells me we're going to be hearing more from T-Mobile stuff like this. I don't know how big this is to them, but it makes sense for them to explore it because so far, this has been Verizon's market to lose. All right, to kind of piggyback off this, we've got the second story, link in the description. Moby, I think that's what it's pronounced, Inc.'s MVNO deal with T-Mobile. So we got a second deal, folks. All right, let's see what this one is about. Honolulu, Hawaii-based wireless carrier Mobi, or Mobi, I really don't know, announced that they've signed an MVNO agreement with T-Mobile, America's 5G leader. All right, cool. So T-Mobile in both parts of the news today, this one in particular to the islands. Uh, this is going to be combining, you know, the industry-leading 5G speeds, capacity, availability from T-Mobile with this service provider. Uh, now, the thing about this company, Mobi, is that they've got this cloud native mobile core and they've got this, you know, AWS, you know, powered based service. And they're going to be using T Mobile as, you know, network as a service. All right. So I don't know anything much about the details, but when I look at these MVNO deals, again, like I said in the last piece, T Mobile becoming active. They have been very inactive in MVNO for a while now. I was of the assumption, or I presumed, that they kind of want to do everything on their own, right? And they don't really want to enable other companies that could be competition. Like, I don't think we're ever going to see a day where T-Mobile is going to be supporting Comcast and Charter, right? They're all with Verizon, and I don't think that's going to change. Uh, <laughs> but it looks like they're into deals like this. And I think these are the types of deals because they don't scale in it because they're they're never going to be T-Mobile's direct competition. 
T-Mobile's more than willing to engage, right, and have business partnerships like this. We'll see if AT&T is going to be doing anything like this very soon because we know that Verizon is. And now with T-Mobile kind of getting inked and getting involved, you know, I think that's the other shoe to drop is what AT&T does. Do they have stuff in the works as well? But I do think these are good things for T-Mobile. What do you guys think? Do you guys like what you're hearing? Do you think it's going to be substantial? Does this turn into legitimate revenue streams for T-Mobile in the future? Sound off in the comment section below. You all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard.